Hello and welcome back. All right, we have a brand new update to Topaz Photo AI, and we are now on version 2.1.0. These are all the updates right here, but there's only two worth mentioning. The first is the Sharpen Standard version one has been fully replaced with Sharpen Standard version two. Personally, I'm still using the Sharpen Lens Blur and Motion Blur for all my images. So you're gonna have to test out which ones work best for you. And then the other update is a brand new AI Remove Tool filter, which is similar to what we have in Photoshop. So we're gonna test out this Remove Tool in Photoshop compare it to Topaz Photo AI's remove tool to see where we are in terms of how good the remove tool is in Topaz Photo AI and whether or not it's worth using. So let's go ahead and start off in Photoshop first. I'm gonna press the letter J to grab my remove tool, my AI remove tool, and I want to remove this branch right here. So I'm just gonna click and drag over the branch and we'll see how well Photoshop does. So once I release, it's gonna begin analyzing and processing. And in just a few seconds, it has removed the branch where I applied the brush. Now the concept is similar in Topaz Photo AI. We're going to use a brush to paint over it. To activate or to start using the tool, we're gonna to come up here and click on this remove button right here. It is in beta. So it is going to be improved over a period of time. So I would take this edit with a grain of salt. It is not 100% at this point, I would imagine. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in beta still. So we're gonna go ahead and activate by clicking on the remove tool. We're gonna to get this new panel right here. We can adjust our brush size. We can add and subtract from these two buttons here. And then we can also apply some parameters, speed over quality, and then we have padding down here. So the padding is going to increase or decrease how much context it's going to take outside of your brush. So right now I have a decent size brush and any content outside of that brush or the padding outside of it is going to be used to take that information and paint over the branch to remove the branch. So we can increase or decrease how much information is going to be analyzed by Topaz Photo AI to remove the object that we want to remove. So if you're not getting the results you want, you may wanna come in here and change the padding. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint over the branch just like I did before, and we're gonna see what kind of a result we can get with Topaz Photo AI. We do have to click the Remove tool right here, and it's giving us a little warning right here that it may take a few seconds to a minute depending on your GPU and CPU. So be ready for that, it could take a little bit of time compared to what we have experienced in Photoshop where it was just a few seconds. We're already past that point in time. Let's take a look at my setup so you can kind of get an idea of my computer resources here. I have a 27 inch iMac. This is the last Intel version of the iMac. It's a 2020 version. Here's all my setup here. I have an AMD Radeon Pro 5500 XT, eight gigabytes and 128 gigabytes of RAM. So a pretty fast system overall, but it is taking Topaz Photo AI a little bit of time to process, analyze and remove that branch. So maybe I need to go ahead and speed up this part of the video so we're not sitting here wasting our time watching this go round and round and round. All right, so Topaz Photo AI removed the branch just as well as Photoshop. Maybe not perfect because it does have a little bit of extra right here of the branch. I did come all the way down to this joint of the branch here. So I may need to do another pass over this, but then again, I'm gonna be waiting and waiting and waiting for the update. All right, so my biggest complaint with the Topaz Photo AI remove tool is the speed. As you saw, a few seconds in Photoshop, over a minute and a half, I believe it was, in Topaz Photo AI. And if I wanted to continue retouching this image, maybe I wanna get rid of this dead leaf here, or maybe all three of these leaves right here, it's gonna take forever compared to Photoshop. 
hopefully in the future it becomes much faster and improves in terms of quality and the results that we want at a higher percentage than we can possibly get at this point in time. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.